In this video, we'll discuss how to transcribe your YouTube videos with OpenAI's Whisper. Let's dive in. We've been working at Shipyard over the past two months to build A to B solution videos to show in under six minutes how you can build a solution that can drive some ROI to your business. Uh, we've also been use, trying to use some transcription services to add subtitles to those YouTube videos as we post them to help out people that like to watch their videos without audio. Um, all the tr transcription services that we've used have been a bit hit and miss and they've added a lot of time to the process of making each YouTube video. Um, today, OpenAI released their Whisper op or open source transcription tool that can take audio from YouTube and uh, transcribe it for you. Uh, so we thought we would add that into Shipyard so that we could play with it and also you could play with it as our Shipyard community. Uh, so we're, we're happy to announce that as of today, we have OpenAI Whisper blueprints and a YouTube blueprint that you're about to see in the video. Uh, that I use to transcribe one of our solution videos that you can use today inside of Shipyard. For, we first want to download that audio uh, from our YouTube video. So I'm going to search for YouTube um, and YouTube download video. So we have this. Uh, so I'm going to name this download audio from YouTube. Uh, so I need my, my video ID. So I'm going to go back here to my YouTube studio. Uh, and you can see I already have it highlighted up here. So I'm just going to copy this ID from the URL. Uh, and it's from this sending Snowflake data with email. Uh, video. Um, so I'll, I'll link this video in the description below so that whenever we're done, whenever you're done watching this video, you can pop over to that video and you can look at those transcriptions in real time as we put them in in this video. Uh, so we go back to Shipyard. I'm going to toss that video ID in there. Um, and we're going to have, um, we just want the audio, the .webm file. We also have video if you want to download the full video, but we'll just keep audio for here. Uh, and file name, we'll just do um, YouTube audio dot webm. Okay, so that is our YouTube. That is our YouTube uh, vessel that's going to download that audio. So now we need to go back and add a second vessel. So I'm going to search for my open AI uh, to transcribe audio with whisper. So I'm going to click that, uh, pull it up. So I'm going to name this vessel transcribe YouTube audio. Okay, let me capitalize my T there, YouTube audio. Uh, the file that transcribes, that's the file from uh, the vessel beforehand. So that's YouTube audio.webm. And the transcription file name, we'll call this uh, snowflake email.txt. Okay, so now I can connect them together. Uh, so if, if, the audio, if, the download, if the audio download from YouTube is successful, It'll then transcribe that YouTube audio. Um, and then the last thing we want to do is we want to take that transcription file name, that Snowflake email. And we, want to, we want to put that somewhere. So I'm going to put that in a Google Cloud bucket. Um, so Google Cloud. So I'm going to upload files. You can also just get this to print if you change the code in our blueprint uh, to do that. But I think it's probably better to send, send it somewhere. So I'm going to upload YouTube transcriptions. Okay, it's not what it's not in a folder. The file name is uh, snowflake email dot text. Uh, the bucket name shipyard solutions internal folder. I'm putting it in this open AI transcriptions folder. Um, so open AI transcriptions. Uh, the file name, we'll just let it keep that file name snowflake underscore email dot text. And then we just need our service account here. Um, service accounts. So that's good. Um, so now I just need to connect those together. I've already, let's say I want to name my fleet, uh, OpenAI YouTube video transcription. Okay, so now I should be able to click save and finish here. Um, and so this is going to take us to a page telling us that the fleet has been created successfully. Um, and then I can click uh, run your fleet and I can kick this thing off uh, and it's going to start running. Um, so inside a shipyard, whenever you kick off an on-demand run like this, um, it's going to take you over to the fleet log, as you can see. Um, and so it's going to go ahead and kick off that first, that first, uh, that first vessel that we had. So it's downloading that audio from YouTube as we speak. Um, and so you can see that we also have triggers up here on the top. If you wanted to schedule this run, uh, for a YouTube video transcription, it's not as likely to do that. Um, but if you wanted to, we have a scheduling trigger and an and a API trigger that you can kick off this fleet if you'd like to. Um, so I'm going to let this I'm going to let this run out. The transcribe YouTube audio usually takes around a minute, minute and a half. As soon as that finishes, we'll pop back in here. 
So now that our transcription's finished, it's, uh, it's kicking off our last vessel, which is uploading it to Google Cloud Storage, which you can see is already finished. So this whole process took around two minutes and 40 seconds to transcribe a, um, let's transcribe a five minute YouTube video. Uh, so not too bad. Um, so now I can go back into my YouTube or into my, I'm sorry, Google cloud storage bucket here and refresh this page. Um, we're going to be able to see our snowflake underscore email dot text 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 file. I can download this. Um, and you can see there is the transcription of our YouTube video there. Um, just in plain text. Um, so now what we can do is we can take that and take it back into YouTube and add it in, in our trans into our video as a transcription. So let me go to YouTube studio here. Um, you can see we have subtitles. So I'm going to click that. Um, you can upload a file. So of course there's, there's a ton of ways you can do this, um, but we're going to use auto sync this time. Um, so when I click that and I can go back to this. I can copy this text here and then I can paste it in. It's a space at the beginning. There we go. So I can paste that in and then YouTube's going to automatically match that text that I just put in with the video. Um, so I can go ahead and click done um, and it's going to process that for us and it's going to place the the, sub, uh, the subtitles where it should fit in the video based on its listening. Um, but yeah, in this video, we talked about how you can download audio from YouTube, transcribe it using OpenAI's Whisper service, and then put it back into your YouTube video with subtitles. Feel free to go check out the sending Snowflake data with email video to check out those transcriptions in action. Um, I'll post that link in the description below. If you have any questions about this solution or how you can use Shipyard in your organization, use the link in the description to set up a time to chat with our team of data experts. If you want to see more tutorials like this one, check out these related videos.